Lombardi. Put yourself, if you will, in our business. Start with the tracked vehicle. Engineer it originally to overcome extreme conditions on the job. Later, in the 60s, design the number one recreational success of a sports-minded era, the Skidoo. And go on to become the world's largest producer of snowmobiles. Soon the name Bombardier is becoming a household word. And it's expanding into the field of mass transit with car contracts from both the Vienna streetcar and Montreal subway systems. Then, in 1976, combine Bombardier with MLW, one of the world's premier manufacturers of diesel locomotives. Continue to diversify from this strong technological position into a number of growing markets. For stability, balance the demands of these markets among consumer, industrial, and capital goods, each reaching its peak activity at a different stage of the business cycle. Decentralize the organization so that each market is served by specialists who know the business. Simplify the financial structure to create a sound base for profitable operations. Build momentum toward the 80s with unexcelled capabilities in people and plants. With a flexible product line that can be adapted to new opportunities worldwide. Plan for long-term expansion, for low-cost production, for technological leadership. Now call it simply Bombardier Incorporated, a company with specialized expertise in manufacturing and a planned approach to future growth. This is growth by design. Growth by design. To get an idea of the growth that lies ahead, let's look at our company today. We operate 15 manufacturing plants, 12 in Quebec, one in the United States, two in Austria. Each plant employs extensive quality control measures. Several have special testing facilities for temperature, stress, and noise conditions. In-plant research and development is closely coordinated with ongoing marketing studies or to the precise standards of military procurement criteria. Our growth has been built on original concepts and applied research. We hold many basic patents and are among the top 20 investors in R&D in Canada. Our sales and customer service network includes distributors, dealers, agents, and licensees in more than 50 countries. We employ directly over 6,000 people, our most valuable resource. We train them in our own schools and on the assembly line. More than 40% of the production people in many of our plants have accredited technical skills in welding, tool making, and industrial design. We enlist experienced engineering professionals for systems analysis and for the design and improvement of all our products. We run courses in data processing, videotaped for circulation to each division. Our main computer room keeps check of everything from the initial order to the final sale, including manufacturing, distribution, receivables, and payables. Growth by design. Bombardier embraces two major fields of activity each with huge dynamic markets. One group builds recreational and industrial products stemming from original Bombardier technology. The other focuses on energy and transportation. Let's look at this group first. Today, when you think of public transportation, readily available transportation, energy efficient transportation, people and freight transportation, you've got to think of rail. And when you think of rail, you've got to think of Bombardier. Makers of the first Canadian-built subway cars for the Toronto Transit Commission, the Montreal Metro, Chicago's South Suburban Mass Transit. Designers, along with Alcan and DeFasco, of the ultra-modern LRC, a light, rapid, comfortable intercity passenger train, already ordered by Via Rail in Canada, Amtrak in the US and ready to travel as fast as 120 miles per hour along standard tracks, wherever they go. Whether it be subway 
self-propelled interurban commuter cars, or transcontinental rail, we're equipped to provide everything from undercarriages to coach assemblies, including interior seating, electrical systems, and exterior design. But the heart of the train, the locomotive, has been the specialty of our MLW division for over 75 years. We supply them on five continents, including technical schooling for the customer's maintenance staff here in Canada, and on-site service after that. Then supervisory assistance and spare parts for the lifetime of each locomotive. This lifetime service is aided by operating agreements with companies in Australia, Spain, India, and Brazil. It includes the complete overhaul and rebuilding of diesel engines, components, and crankshafts, with an equipment inventory in the Montreal plant of heavy metal forming machinery, medium to heavy range tools, and materials handling capacities up to 180 metric tons. Huge automatic machine tools can be set to plane, grind, and bore several mammoth engine blocks simultaneously. We have also been intimately involved as part of a consortium of international companies in a research project for the Canadian Ministry of Transport. The aim? To provide completely integrated urban and regional transportation systems. We offer unmatched testing and development facilities not only for locomotives, but for diesel electric generating sets in marine and stationary engine applications, such as turbocharged four-cycle diesel engines in the new Canadian icebreakers, or supplying base load utility and mining power in the Arctic, and at the James Bay Power Project. Obviously, this group has an important role to play in energy production and conservation. We're helping the major process and power industries to meet these critical needs. Our heat exchangers are preferred equipment for oil refining, chemical and petrochemical processes, and in fossil and nuclear fuel power stations. In recent years, we supplied them both to Ontario Hydro and Quebec Hydro for many of their thermal and nuclear energy requirements, as well as to the Syncrude Oil Sands Recovery Project in Alberta. We have joint working agreements with Brown Bavaria of Switzerland to construct surface condensers for electrical power, and with the largest feed water heater manufacturer in the US, where we were the first company outside that country authorized to market nuclear heat transfer equipment there. We were an early member of an industry-sponsored cooperative engaged in full-scale heat transfer studies. Our research and development efforts center on thermodynamics and fluid flow and have resulted in the most advanced welding techniques in the industry. We employ these special facilities where the job calls for them. A clean room for nuclear work, deep hole drills and unique tube welding equipment, recognized competence in working with a wide range of alloys, temperatures and pressures. Our objective in working at the leading edge of our technology is to open up new frontiers for our customers but it is the disciplines that we acquire here that make us more competitive on conventional jobs. And it is standardization of product that pays the freight, permitting us to raise our output while controlling production costs. This is a constant goal. And this is where we intend to concentrate for profitable growth in the future. Growth by design. Mention the name Bombardier, and most people think of speed, power, and fun in the snow. This brings us to the second group, recreational and industrial products, where we have built over half the world's snowmobiles. The same technology, however, also enables us to design an almost infinite variety of off-highway vehicles. Engines, chassis, transmissions, frames and hulls, wheels, suspension systems, all undergo individual development programs in our options shop, we individually equip any vehicle with special transmissions, engines, or winches. We keep 9,000 jigs and dies on hand for the production of almost 15,000 different parts. Welding is critical. We use over 100 tons of welding wire a year. Numerical control equipment can reduce machining time up to 75%. It's completely automatic. But it's the reinforced rubber-belted track design that enables our vehicles to go where others fear to tread. They groom the ski slopes and maintain cross-country trails. They plow the sidewalks and parking lots. They go through mud and marshland. 
to haul huge logs for forestry companies. They help construct towers and cut the brush along utility power lines. Mount aerial buckets that reach high up places. Move material to off the road locations. For the petroleum and mining industries, they can carry seismograph crews, huge portable drills and pipeline equipment. These are our primary markets, in the snow, in the forests, for utilities and mining operations, for oil and gas companies. Bombardier tracked vehicles do the work of little tractors or huge bulldozers. And they maneuver in the most inaccessible locations, literally floating through the swamps and clinging to hills, because they run on a track, and that makes all the difference. Our personnel carriers come in all sizes too. This one for the Canadian Armed Forces in the Arctic is modeled along the same lines as the very first 12 passenger Bombardier. And this is one of the newest, the Bombi, an amazingly versatile three-seater that does just about everything. We never stop planning the next application. Designing a small skidder, for instance, to fit between the rows on southern pine pulpwood plantations or adapting this wheeled vehicle from Finland, which carries full loads of trees with the right equipment for North American conditions as part of our expansion into wheeled vehicles to meet the needs of our customers. Where industrial products are built to order for each specialized application, the recreational line achieves production efficiencies through standardization and the computerized coordination of multi-plant output. Snowmobiles are assembled at one of our large plants at Valcourt, Quebec. A nearby plant molds fiberglass parts. Another supplies plastic components. Yet another makes our flexible rubber tracks, solid rubber tires, and molded rubber components. A further plant makes seating. The snowmobile is still our most famous tracked vehicle, represented today by the Skidoo and Motoski lines. This is a product attuned to today's active leisure life. In 1977, industry sales in the United States, our biggest market, surged ahead by 25%. The industry has now turned around thanks to a 94% reduction of noise level, development of trails and clubs, and a dramatic improvement in quality and reliability. Performance is the name of the game. And performance is what Bombardier builds, tests, and delivers. With a model for every taste and every budget, for sportsmen, for racing enthusiasts, for family outings. And today, you'll find the Bombardier name associated with other recreational products. A few years ago, we successfully designed and introduced a brand new line of Can-Am motorcycles, which have won high marks in motocross and enduro competition around the world. We now have several popular models with special capabilities. We're also after the military market, where we're currently supplying cycles for both the Canadian and British Armed Forces. This line was followed by further Bombardier development, fiberglass sailboats and fiberglass canoes. They all fit into specific price and performance categories, right in line with the trend to more public participation in outdoor activities. They capitalize on existing manufacturing facilities and North American distribution channels, and they mesh nicely with our seasonal production of snowmobiles. That's something we've learned to do well, balance our manufacturing output, and in doing it, get maximum production out of our subsidiary plants. Sports clothing and accessories, for instance, for snowmobiling, cycling, sailing. Everything from helmets to boots. Even snowmobile covers, specially designed in our R&D studio. But the subsidiary plants serve as much more than in-house supply lines. Our objective is to make each an autonomous profit center. For instance, the two clothing plants make a number of related items. Snowmobile suits for other manufacturers, winter uniforms for Hydro-Quebec, hockey equipment for Volvo's Jaffa brand, which is also supplied to professional teams in the National Hockey League. The fiberglass plant prefabricates compact bathroom units for apartment buildings, storage tanks, reinforced pipes, automobile and truck components. We turn out these covers for AES data electronic typing systems and these sleek storage units for Bell telephone equipment. We're at work developing non-conventional energy systems. 
We provided the seats and the world's largest ventilation duct system for the 1976 Olympic installations. Roofing material for the velodrome. An extra floor for the Olympic pool that can be adjusted to any depth. Our interior paneling and seating in the Montreal Metro incorporates unique fire retardant properties. In plastics, we use large capacity injection molding for the mass production of thermoplastic resin products. This upholstered seating for buses, trucks, and machinery cabs comes from another plant. It's custom molded foam seating, cold cured to be fire retardant. In this division, we're equipped to manufacture top quality urethane foam parts in highly flexible, rigid, or semi-rigid form for the snowmobile and industrial markets. We also produce leatherette engravings by the heat seal process, special type seating on a vacuum form press, foam for office chairs and upholstery. Our rubber factory is recognized as the world's leading producer of snowmobile tracks and a large supplier of specialized industrial belting. We can make anything from tires to components for suspension systems, to sprockets and tracks, all to the rigid specifications of customers. We also franchise this pre-cured retreading system for truck and trailer tires. Bombardier's manufacturing subsidiaries provide service to clients which include General Motors, Uniroyal, White Tractors, Belanger, Electrolux, IBM, Ford, Chrysler Canada, and John Deere. Grow design. In other fields, too, we're growing apace. Overseas, we operate two plants in Austria, the first specializing in small two-cycle gasoline engines, the other in streetcar systems. While specialized, we seek the same market diversification with these operations. The engine plant, for instance, supplies all our snowmobile and motorcycle engines, yet it has consistently increased the proportion of its external sales. The volume of outside orders now almost equals deliveries to our recreational products group. Helping in this process has been the recent installation of computerized digital equipment. It has furthered our development of batch production to meet the specific needs of expanding markets for industrial engines, precision instruments, and irrigation pumps. The other factory is located in Vienna, a city that operates one of the largest tramway fleets on the continent. We build the cars for one-third of the tramway systems in all Austrian cities. This is typical of the resurgent market for urban streetcars throughout Europe. It also enables us to apply similar technology to articulated cable cars, ski lift vehicles, and the prototype for a lightweight suburban train system. You can see how Bombardier technologies mesh and mushroom. So perhaps you won't be surprised that we have yet another division right here in Quebec with two plants serving the aerospace industry. Our manufacturing expertise in this highly sophisticated field includes the landing components for NASA lunar moon modules in the Apollo space program. We make shuttle assembly systems for aircraft carriers, assemble catapult systems for pilot ejection, and since 1970 have serviced hydraulic systems for the U.S. Air Force and under contract for the Canadian Air Force. We're well supplied with military orders. Our aim now is to obtain a greater share of the civil aeronautic market, where we manufacture and overhaul landing gear, servos and actuators, and other high-precision components for such clients as Canadair, Douglas Aircraft, Grauman, and General Dynamics. For Pratt & Whitney and de Havilland, for Nordair, Pacific Western Airlines, Britannia Airways, and Trans International Airlines. Needless to say, the outlook is good. Growth by design. This is where we are today at Bombardier. We've experienced severe changes in consumer demand, along with the ups and downs of the industrial marketplace. And we've emerged the better for it. Better prepared. Better organized. Better balanced. We've honed our manufacturing abilities to a fine edge so that we can truthfully say, Bombardier can make anything better. We have a broad product line, well balanced in production and sales between our two core groups. First, recreational 
and industrial. The other, energy and transportation. Our mission is to meet the needs of our customers in each of these categories. Our specialty is the processing of raw materials through the fabrication and assembly of finished products. Our resources include a high level of technology developed to meet the needs of our markets, the people who have developed this technology and its application, a wide variety of excellent facilities to supply the various markets in which we operate around the world. We have a stake in the aerospace field and an excellent reputation overseas. Our thrust is worldwide with exports accounting for 35% of total revenues. Our goal, growth by design, both in manufacturing and marketing. It's a goal that finds expression in the quality of our products, the far-ranging reach of our research and development, the dedication of our people. Growth by design. It's a commitment we make to customers, suppliers, investors. We are growing, but in a stable, carefully coordinated way. Through diversification of markets, through strengthened management and financial resources, through technology. The future is bright at Bombardier. We welcome your interest in our progress.